Hello, my name is Matthew Oliver, and as you can see by my title, I'm the Chief Regulatory Officer and Deputy Registrar of APEGA. Now, I'm a huge fan of self-regulation, which is the reason I came to work at APEGA. And if you appreciate self-regulation as much as I do, then these next three minutes are right up your alley. If you're tuning out already, then you're the right person to learn a little more about what self-regulation means as a member in good standing with APEGA, and why you are essential to maintaining the public trust. As professional engineers and professional geoscientists in Alberta, we operate using a model known as self-regulation. Canada is one of the last jurisdictions in the world that relies on a system that places so much responsibility and trust into the hands of our members. For more than 100 years, APEGA has built a strong foundation of trust between our members and the public. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of our professional geoscientists and professional engineers, Alberta's buildings stand tall, our airplanes soar safely, and our natural resources are managed responsibly and ethically. I know that our APEGA members know how important their role is in keeping Albertans safe, but what it means to be a self-regulated profession is not always clearly understood. How do I know this? As APEGA's Chief Regulatory Officer, I've heard it all. Some members question us all the time about what their annual dues pay for. What has APEGA ever done for me is a typical response. Or what is APEGA doing to look after the financial interests of its members? Or why can't I just anonymously report one of my colleagues for unskilled practice or unprofessional conduct? Well, apart from obtaining a license that allows you to practice your profession, your dues support part of the overall regulatory system. The majority of the regulatory work is actually done by members who sit on our boards and committees. Each of them understands that self-regulation means putting the public safety first and foremost in everything we do. If we do not uphold our end of the deal and maintain our role as a regulator, then the social contract we sign to protect the people of Alberta will be taken away. Other professions have already lost the privilege of self-regulation in Canada when they placed their interests over that of the public trust. This is why self-regulation remains critical to APEGA's continued success. And all of our members have a shared responsibility when it comes to reporting anyone who is not fulfilling their end of the social contract. Best practice for reporting non-compliance in a self-regulating profession means you need to talk to your colleague first if you notice they are not meeting their obligation to protect the public welfare. If they continue to act in their own self-interest, then we recommend you report them to APEGA. Now, I understand that this is no easy thing to ask of our members. If you have ever been in the situation of reporting a colleague to APEGA, thank you for acting in the public's best interest. APEGA has over 56,000 registrants and 4,600 corporate permit holders, resulting in thousands of professional work products being authenticated daily. As you can see, it's impossible for APEGA to review each and every one of those decisions. Professional engineers and professional geoscientists do a lot for Alberta. And I will be the first to admit that self-regulation asks a lot of its licensed members who do great work in this province. But if we choose not to report out of respect for our colleagues or out of fear for jeopardizing future contracts, we are moving to a place where self-interest outweighs our legal obligation to protect the public. On behalf of APEGA, thank you very much for sticking it through this video. And on behalf of the public, thank you for continuing to help keep us safe by taking your role as a self-regulator seriously. If you've learned something from this video, please like and subscribe to APEGA's YouTube channel and check out our other videos about what it means to be a responsible member. Thanks for watching.